Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. And if you are new here, then do check out what I do exactly in my channel. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be a part of this family. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the Steelbird SBA2 double visor helmet. It's been a month now. I have got this helmet from Steelbird India and I am using this as my primary helmet and I believe now it's time to provide you with an in-depth review. So yeah, let's get started. I know you might be thinking that this is a paid review or a paid endorsement from Steelbird India but that is not the reality so you can expect unbiased review from my side. First of all let's uh, talk about the features of this helmet and then I will come to the practicality and what I feel about the helmet. Now starting with the features this is the longest visor in the helmet industry as you can see the visor length is unmatchable and this is a very unique idea from Steelbird and none of the other helmet companies have tried to make something like this. So the design is quite unique and now this comes with this double visor thing. This helmet has been designed by Barchi Design from Italy and all the SBA2 helmets are being designed from there only. The helmet is named as air because of the fact that it has got proper air ventilation system. This helmet comes with air channels, air vents to circulate the air within the helmet so that the rider don't feel suffocated. This helmet comes with this stainless steel mesh at the back vent of the helmet. This helmet comes with two-tone mesh fabric. The good thing about this helmet is that the head pad can be removed and washed. So whenever your helmet stinks, you can like take it off, wash it and put it back and get a new helmet, like a feel of a new helmet. The helmet comes with this attacko locking system. The helmet comes with this extra foam padding to keep the rider comfortable. And it has got this stretchable neck pad to keep the rider more comfortable at long distance touring. Now the positive side about this helmet is that it has got very good air ventilation system and the rider never feel suffocated. It looks very unique, it's very eye catchy. Whenever you're like wearing this helmet and going out, people will look at you and this gives you this Iron Man kind of feel. This reminds me of the Iron Man helmet. Now these were some positive sides and the good sides of the Steelbird SBA2 double visor helmet. Now coming to practicality, the helmet has got a long list of issues. The first one is obviously its visor. As suggested by the company, the visor is their USP, but it is also a major issue for this helmet. Now listen to something. So this is the sound this helmet makes. So this is the sound this visor makes. The visor is sort of very clumsy and it's not at all compact and it doesn't give a very good feel about the helmet. Now there is another problem with this visor is when I rode this bike for more than 45 minutes or an hour at a stretch, I got a sort of a headache. That is because of the fact that this visor has got this distortion kind of thing in it and you can see your own reflection like I can, I was able to see my moustache, my beards and like my nose onto the visor so it's, it's sort of very difficult to make you understand how I felt at that time but then uh, there is this distortion sort of thing and the vision is not at all at par and it can be a huge letdown if you plan to go on long trips with this helmet. The helmet is on the heavier side and it's uh, not that comfortable. The helmet is not really compact. It seems little overly. The quality could have been way better compared to the concept. Apart from all this, the front protection of this helmet is questionable. If you look closely into the helmet, let me show you this. The front, this front chain guard make this uh, sort of noise. And see, I can I can like put my fingers inside this, and there's this hollowness in it. So there is not proper protection on the front part of the helmet. So I don't know how this helmet is going to perform in those kind of situations because of the fact that the front part is like 
uh, made up of uh, like carbon fiber it seems sort of plastic and there's this hollowness in between so it's not exactly a solid part but then there's the the gaps are like uh, there are nothing in it so this is not the first steel bud helmet i am using i have used steel bud adonis i have got this steel bud air sba1 which i also like till date i am using it for my travel purposes and that is a great motorcycle helmet at a very low cost but then this is a disappointment this helmet is a disappointment i would give this helmet 10 out of 10 for the concept and the design but then it lacks protection the protection is not at all at par and i don't know how this uh, got the isi mark but the front protection is like zero so if anybody from steelbird watching this video please make sure I know you guys are like spending a lot of money on to making good helmets but then the quality is very very poor. So yeah that's it from my side. I use this helmet and this is my personal opinion and I would not use this helmet for my touring needs or for city commuting. I shared my point of view, I shared my opinion but I would surely suggest this helmet, the SBA1 helmet. I have been using this for like more than a year now and this is one of the best helmet at its price point. So I will put up a link in the description box below for this SBA1 helmet. You can go ahead check this out and buy one for yourself and uh, I believe you won't be disappointed after uh, buying this helmet. That's all from my side. So I tried to be honest with you. I, I tried to share whatever I felt about the helmet. You too can share your experience with the SBA2 helmet in the comment box below. And do hit the like button if you feel this video was informative and helpful and do share this with your friends. They should obviously watch this video before buying one for themselves and do hit that subscribe button and be a part of this uh, family. So yeah that's it from my side. You only live once so live life king size. Bye bye and take care my pillions.